Yo, it's your boy the Android Doctor back again. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install the best ice cream sandwich gaming ROM onto the Xperia Play, which is this phone here. So it's a real simple process. I'm just going to guide you through real quick. So before you even attempt this, people, make sure that you've unlocked your phone's bootloader. That's right. Make sure the bootloader is unlocked. If the bootloader is not unlocked, this will not work. Okay, so once you've unlocked the bootloader, you can go ahead and follow the rest of this video. So what you'll need to do is you'll need to download Flash Tool, which is this here. Make sure you download the version what I'm using. And the version I'm using is... Hold on. 0 0.7.1.0. There it is. So I'll leave a link to that in the description down below. So once you've downloaded the flash tool, you can just go ahead and open it up and make sure you install these three drivers what I'm about to tell you. Make sure you download the flash tool drivers, the fast boot drivers and also the Xperia Play drivers. So that's the fast boot drivers, flash tool drivers and the Xperia Play drivers. If you don't install all three of those drivers, flash tool will not work. The next thing you'll need to do is you'll need to download the True and Sisters ICS ROM. This is it here. And you'll also need to download the Lupus. Hold on, let me just focus. The Lupus Zeus Stock GB Plus ICS V7 kernel. So I'll leave a link to both the ROM, the kernel and the flash tool in the description down below okay the next thing to do is go into your phone go into your settings applications and the box here at the top unknown sources make sure you tick that box then select OK where it says development select that where it says USB debugging make sure you tick that box and select OK now connect your phone to USB so the USB ports there on the side as you can see so we're just going to connect the phone to that I'm just going to put the camera down So as you can see it's now connected. That little box there you can just select skip. Shut that down. Okay, so the True and Sisters ROM, you're going to drag and drop it onto a blank space here on your SD card, like I've already done. So as you can see, I've already got it, got it there on the SD card. So just remember, just drag and drop it onto your SD card. Then you can shut that down. Now you're going to, whilst the phone's still connected, don't unplug it. You can open up the flash tool and this folder here, X10 Flasher Lib, we're gonna open that up. And now the Lupus kernel, what you downloaded earlier, you're gonna drag and drop that in there. So there it is. Now you can select back. And this flash tool icon here, we're just going to open that up. Because now we're going to root the phone. So 
So whilst the phone is still connected, and once you've opened up the flash tool, you'll see all this information pop up. So this little padlock here, we're just going to click on that, and we're going to root the phone real quick. So it should say, running part one of root exploit, please wait. Now it's saying waiting for device, device disconnected. Oh, hold on, let me just close this down. Running part 2 of root exploit, running root kit 2, finished, root should be available after reboot. And as you can see the phone is now rebooting. Okay, so the phone's finished rebooting, so let's just make sure it's being rooted, so skip. So we're just going to look for super user, and there it is, super user. So that means the phone is now rooted. So now we can go ahead and flash the kernel, the lupus kernel. So whilst your phone is still connected, and whilst all the information is still there, so you can see here at the bottom it says root access is allowed. So we're on the right path. So we can just go ahead and select flash here, and then select fast boot mode, because now we're going to flash the lupus kernel. So we can go ahead and hit reboot into fast boot mode via fast boot. If you get this red error message, this action can only be done in fast boot mode. Don't worry about that. Just select reboot into fast boot mode via ADB. And now it should say please wait device is rebooting into fast boot mode. Device will soon enter fast boot mode. Device disconnected, Div device connected into fast boot mode. So once it's connected into fast boot mode, if you look here at the top, you should see a little blue light. So that'll confirm that you're in fast boot. So now we're just going to flash that kernel, the lupus kernel. So select this one here, select kernel to flash. And don't forget earlier we put the kernel here in the X10 flasher lib folder. And there it is, lupus zoo stock gb ICS v7 full dot image. So that's the kernel. We're just going to click on that and flash it real quick. As you can see, flashing, flash operation complete, OK, finish total time. So the kernel is finished flashing. So we can shut this down. And now we can unplug the phone. Now power it on. And the volume down button here on the side. We're going to keep pressing that to go into recovery mode.
Okay, it looks as if the volume down button is not working. Hold on. Oh yeah, it does work. Okay, so now we're in recovery mode. So, we're just going to use the volume down again. And go down to wipe options. Then hit the home button here. And then hit the home button again to wipe um, system. And then hit the home button again. Now use the volume button, go down again to wipe options. Then hit the home button. And where it says wipe factory data reset we're gonna hit the home button again then use the volume button to go down again yes delete all user data hit the home button now use the volume down button again and scroll down to where it says advanced now hit the home button And then go down to where it says white battery stats. Now hit the home button. White battery stats. Hit the home button. Now hit the back button here. And then go down to where it says install zip. Choose it from SD card. Hit the home button. And you're going to go right down to where it says True and Sister ICS. And you're going to hit the Home button. And yes, install True and Sister ICS. Hit the Home button. And now it's going to install the ROM. This does take a few minutes so be patient. And um, people, this this ROM is the best gaming ROM for the Xperia Play. Um, if you want to see how it performs with games, you can. I'll leave a link to my gaming video in the description down below, and you can watch that video, and you'll see exactly that this game does run all the best games like Modern Combat, um, Need for Speed, Most Wanted, all those types of games perfectly well. And I'm not joking, this ROM is the best ROM. I've tried them all and this ROM is the best one. So anyway, it's finished flashing. So we're just going to... Hit the back button. And where it says reboot system now. We're just going to hit the home button here.
the first boot might take about five minutes so do be patient just take a while Okay, so let's just go through the setup process real quick. So there you have it, Android 4.0.4 ice cream sandwich. And this is True Ancestors ROM, people. This is the best gaming ROM for the Xperia Play, like I says. I've got gameplay footage of this ROM. I'll leave a link to it in the description down below. Um, and you can watch to see how the games do perform on this ROM. Everything does work. This ROM is rock solid. It does not have any bugs or anything. Like I said, I've used it in the past and um, I've not found any problems with it. So yeah, that's just a quick tutorial video on how to install um, True Ancestors ROM on the Xperia Play. If you like the video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and also subscribe for more videos. Thanks for watching. I'm out. Doses.